my beautiful boos. How about a video today? Today is the Manny X Me box today. I got this in the mail. I'm so excited for this box. I love Maniology. If you're looking for a stamping kit, this is really great. It's um, $25 a month. You get uh, two stamping plates and usually two polishes. Um, I think it's a great deal if you want to learn how to stamp and just, you know, I'll leave a link down below for you guys. Um, I do have a link to where you can save some money. You can use my code. I'll leave it down below, though. That way you can save you some money. Um, this is called the, it says Melt With You. Maybe it's Coda side and our Snow Day Manny and Me box is turning up, turning up the heat with the hottest nail look for the holiday season. And then you get, it's called Snowflake Jubilee. This is a, every box that you get, it gives you a tutorial how to create a nail design. Um, if you decide to create that nail design, you can use hashtag Me box. And on the back of it, it tells you step-by-step -step instructions that you can use. Pretty cool if you're not, you know, if you're looking for some creativity or just how to have a really nice, um, Christmas mini that I'm, I'm excited. So excited right now. So, upon opening, you get, like I said, you get two. Oh, there's something else in there, too. Let's see what I got. I usually keep my boxes. Um, I always tend to keep them that way I can store my plates in it and stuff. I usually write like the month on it or what it is. Um, totally up to you if you like to keep the boxes. I have to find something to open this. I'm just going to use these scissors real fast. I do like their stamping polishes. They have some really nice ones. Um, you can use them as regular nail polish as well if you don't like to do stamping. Um, but this is mainly for those of you who like to do stamping nail art. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. I will swatch these for you guys. Um, this is what the colors are. It looks like you have this one here. This one is called Frigid. And this one is called Fleece. And it looks like a rose gold color. Really, really pretty. Like, you know, it's between silver and like a rose gold. Um, you also get this little pamphlet here. It teaches you how to use their stamping plates. Gives you a little bit of troubleshooting tips. And then on the back, of course, tells you how to clean uh, your plates and things like that. So that's nice to have if you're new to um, stamping. Oh, I'm excited. What is this? How to, oh, these are nail studs. It says how to apply nail studs. Use tweezers to select favorite nail studs. Oh, that's amazing. But it has these little tiny different ones in it. That is pretty cool. They got tiny, tiny ones, and then they've got just like different little patterns, I guess. Or No, they're all the same pattern, just different sizes. That's cool. And then you also get, well, they got these stickers in it. Says, may your nails always get compliments. That's awesome. I do like the little stickers. That's cute. But that's I like the little nail studs. I'm excited to try them out, anyways. And then here are your two stamping plates that you get in this kit. Now I actually purchased this here. This is the Maniology book. And what you do, like as you can see, is you can do different patterns. You know, if you want to try them to see what they look like before you apply it to your nail. Or if you just want to see how the colors look together. Um, or, you know, things like that. I do keep mine. I just keep mine on the bottom. That way if I ever want to go back. And you can also use up all this space. Like you don't have to just, you know, um, you can just, you know, write what you want on it here. Uh, what the what you want to call the mani? Like I said, you can see what the colors look like. I've done quite a bit, so and it's actually like I wrote things like here to keep me inspired uh, on my mani. Like I did full. Like if I want, you know, just some ideas. Like 
I wanted like rhinestones on this one if you wanted to uh, full black chrome. I mean, just some different ideas for you. But and I would just write them on here like I did this one here when I did the uh, Dumbo set on this one here. Um, how I would put like glitter, red or pink polish. I did like gray unicorn chrome and then just you know, just some different things, some ideas. And you can always keep these. You can add more stuff onto them if you like. Um, you can buy refills as well. Um, I am actually going to tear this one off. And I just put it towards the back and I just put this on top. But I really do enjoy this because, like I said, you can do different things. Like, say, for in instance, you want to put, um, you can put down here, like, snowflake. And, it, you know, if you want to just write some, jot down some ideas here, you can. You can put, like, if you just want to use glitter, or you can do, like, um, regular polish or gel polish. Just anything like that. And you just kind of map out what you want. You can draw different ideas on it if you wanted to. Like, if I wanted to, I could do, like, this here. And then I could do, like, a little snowflake saw around it if I wanted to do half of a nail like this I could just you know play around with it see what you can create okay so the first thing I'm gonna do for you guys is I'm gonna take the polish you want to make sure that you shake these up very well and let me see here I've got to get my stamper out I have a stamper here and you want to get your favorite stamping card um, I do like the maniology um, Stamping plates because they work really well. Uh, this is just an old one. It's actually a Halloween one, but it still works pretty well. Alright, so I'm just going to lay that to the side. You're going to need paper towels, of course. To, you know put your stuff on. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint on these. You don't need a lot because like I said you're just painting on paper. You do want to make sure that you let it dry. And of course you know I don't do very well with painting in the lines. Uh -huh. Doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, you just you just want to see what the color looks like, kind of. I do like that blue. It's a really pretty blue. I think I'm actually going to paint this one blue as well. Just kind of gives you an idea of what the color looks like. Alright, so there's that one. And then I said this one is fleece, of course. It kind of look. I thought it was kind of rose gold, but it's more of like a gold, gold and silver, and that's okay. Like I said, you know, we're just gonna color it on here, and let it dry really well. And like I said, you know, say for instance, I wanted to, you know, color this in this color. Like I said, it don't have to be perfect on paper. You know, like I said, we're just playing around with it to see what colors uh, look like. Or like I said, you know, you want to see what um, what it looks like together. 
we'll do it like that and then I'm just going to take it and go down this side of course you know you're going to be applying two coats to your nail but I just did one coat on these and like as you can see on this one it's still a little wet because I applied too much and that's okay I'm just going to clean up my brush real good and I'm just going to take some of that polish off make a mess anyway so I think I made more of a mess than I did anything anywho I'm gonna set that over here to dry okay so when you're taking this you want to take the blue film off of course of your stamping plate if you're new to this like I said don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here Please go ahead and hit that like button, everybody. If you've made it this far, it just kind of helps my video out. Helps it with the algorithm and pushes this video. But I appreciate it from you guys. Like, you guys have been so amazing. So, don't forget to do that. Make sure to hit that notification so you don't miss any of my uploads. And here we go. So, anyway, so when you're starting out, you want to take this little stamping plate here. Um, I'm going to take a lint-free wipe. And I'm going to use a little bit of acetone here. Okay, sorry, I had to get my acetone. So I'm going to move this up a little bit so you guys can see. Like I said, I need to move this out of the way for just a second. Make sure you guys get a good view. But I'm taking my acetone, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over this sample plate really well. And we're going to let it dry. So let it dry completely to make sure that um, there's no acetone left on it. I'm going to go ahead and take the full this blue um, plastic off of this one as well. We're going to go ahead and clean it while we have it out. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to take your lint-free wipe. You're going to just go over top of it. Just like this. And look how adorable. Oh my God. That's so funny. It's got the little reindeers here. And then it's got the little faces. It's got a snow globe here. And then it has some um, layered stamping. The Christmas bulbs here. And then you got more bulbs to put over top. And then, of course, you got some little greetings. And then you have the little gingerbread man over here. Oh, my God. That is so freaking cute. Oh, my God. Look at the snowflakes. That's adorable. That one is the MXM043. But, like I said, you I'm sure you can probably buy these individually. But you're better off to buy it in the kit instead. You'll save more money that way. Um, and then here's this one. I love this up here. This is really nice. I do love this. And then you got your Santa Claus here, the sleigh, and the reindeer. You got these, all these, um, different little things you can do. Super nice. So, I'm going to go ahead and swatch this for you guys. And I'm just going to, like, Go down this here. We're going to see how well that these stamp and how pigmented it is. I got my stamper here, and the first thing you do is you want to take your lint roller, go over your stamper, and make sure it's nice and clean. I'm going to take my um, scraper here. Now I'm going to pull it this way, and so when I go that way, I'm actually going to pick up like this okay and then I'm just gonna apply it right on top just press down and as you guys can see that's what it looks like it looks really nice over white but not so pigmented over top of black I mean you can see it but it's not that not as good as it is over the white it doesn't look bad though but anyways and I'm gonna take my lint uh, roller again. I'm going to go over top of it. We're going to clean this off. I actually need to change my lint wipe. Sorry, guys. Okay, so I'm going to do this. 
One thing I do want to tell you is that you want to take this out if it's not working properly. You also want to clean underneath it and the sides. Now, if you're having problems out of your stamper, like I said, the only thing you really need to do is prime it with the lint roller. If it is not working, you can take it out and wash it with warm, soapy water and Dawn dishwashing liquid. And just be gentle with it. Be very, very... I'm like, these are super sticky. But you don't want to tear your stamper. Now you, dis now, you don't have to roll it like that, like I showed you ago. I'm going to show you another technique here really fast. And I'm going to use this one. And let's do... Let's do these um, snowflakes here. Guys, so when you're using your stamper, you can press down easily, pull up, and it will pick up the image. Or if you swipe one way, you can roll your stamper the opposite way, and it will pick up the image as well. But this looks really great over white and black. Uh, better over black than the white, though. Um, but I really like this color. Super nice. So um hope you guys like this so hi right, guys so here we go sorry about that um so as you can see like this color shines really good or shows really well over black or white i like it better over black though but this one was called fleece really nice so anyways um i'm gonna do a little bit of art on this as well now let's see here let's see here so let me see here. So I'm gonna do I'm just gonna see what these look like. Let's do this one. I don't know why, but I really like this one. Like I said, and it does I mean this just I mean I really love this one here. So if you're looking for a really nice Christmas plate, this is really really nice so I'm just gonna take it and I'm just going to pull it over like this I'm actually gonna push down you don't have to push hard and then I'm gonna bring it over here and I'm gonna put it right along here and that's what it looks like this right here if you guys can see that that's what it looks like over the blue See, it looks really, really nice. I like that. I like that. It's so pretty. So I'm just going to clean it again. And now I'm actually going to take the blue here. And I'm just going to do this one here, I think. Show you what it looks like. See how well it does over top of this one. And I'm going to do that, pick it up, and I'm just going to apply it right here. And that is what the blue looks like over this color. If you guys can see that, that's so pretty. I love that. Mommy, do you already wash out the washing machine? No. Can go you ahead. Wash it now? Just go. No, just go ahead and do your laundry. What? Just do your laundry. No, it's okay. I'll wash it. I'll do it after I wash all the clothes. Okay. Now, like I said, this one is MXM044. This one is MXM043. And I think I want to do... Um, let's see. Let's do this here. We'll see how the writing turns out. And I'm going to put that right here. Just like that. Now, you can definitely color these in. You can do some reverse stamping on this as well, if you'd like. Do 
do this one again. And I think, let's do this one. I'm actually going to put that one right here. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like these colors? Do you feel like it was like the, the right kind of kit to put these colors with? I think it's okay. It's really nice. Um, I would probably buy like a white and a um, black. Um, to go with this if you don't have those colors They do sell little kits like that they have like white and black together. They've got a really nice top coat that goes uh, From analogy as well that works really it's a smudge free top coat um, That's really nice And I think I'm just gonna And like I said, you're just gonna I'm just going to put it down on the paper. Oh, that didn't turn out too well. I think I just did that way too fast. Sorry, sometimes I get ahead of myself. Oh, it actually did okay. As you guys can see right there, super nice. But like I said, guys, if you like this, you can definitely go purchase this kit um, if you like. You don't have to purchase the whole kit if you want. If you're just looking for a individual plate, you can do that. Or if you just want the polishes, you can do that as well. But I do have a link down below that will save you a little bit of money if you want to try this now. Now, I don't think it works uh, on the, the sub, uh, subscription box. I'm not really that sure about that. But if you're looking to buy anything else from Maniology, you can use it on that. But you do want to make sure that you're cleaning your plate after use, so that way um, you can get, you don't want to let that polish dry in the uh, plates. So do clean it as you go, of course. I'm just going to take this up. I'm actually going to take the paper towel now. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe these off. Sometimes these polishes are, they want to stick to the plate really well or smear or smudge, you know, things like that. You just keep cleaning it really well. And what I like to do is I like to take a little bit of alcohol instead of acetone once I get everything off of it. And what that'll do is help clean that off the rest of the way. But I just take regular, regular alcohol. It's a little wet, sorry. And I'm just going to go over it like this. And I'm just going to let that dry. And I'm going to take the alcohol, clean off the little stamper as well, and get all that polish off there. And it sanitizes it too as well. And I do like to do that with my... Um, stampers and things like with my um, scrapers and like I said you can find well I've got acetone on that sorry it ruined that but anyways and what else do I got here the studs if you want to use the studs and like I said you have this here so let me fix this up real fast now if you're if this is your first time purchasing Maniology, they will send you a free stamper in your first kit. So that's pretty cool that you don't have to purchase that yourself. 
but um, if you've already on a subscription, of course, you won't get the... Um... Oh, sorry, I didn't want that off too well. Once it's dry, I like to take a... Um, sometimes you can take a dry towel or a paper towel and just kind of wipe off the rest of the residue that's on the plate. If you like to stamp, you will love this kit. If you want to try to learn how to, and you don't have to keep this, you can cancel the subscription anytime that you like. So you don't have to keep doing it. If you just want to try one kit, you know, that, that's great because that way you'll tell whether you like them now. But I really enjoy maniology stamping plates. I think they're really nice. And you do, each month you get a different little thing in it. It could be rhinestones, it could be. Um, a brush. It could be a cleanup brush. It could be a um, like just different little nail stickers and just different things like that. But yeah. Anyways, guys, like I said, make sure to leave me a comment down below because I love to talk to you guys. Don't forget to go and join um, my giveaway that's going on. But I love you guys. Hope you're having a wonderful, blessed day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.